All right, things went from bad to worse for the BYU Cougars on Saturday. A 41 to 14 loss to the Liberty Flames, a loss that saw the Cougars outscored 38 to nothing in the final three quarters. And you know, for a team that had such high expectations and had sold us all really on how deep and talented their roster is, what we're seeing on the field is pretty baffling right now. The Flames <laughs> ran all over the Cougars' defense on Saturday, 300 yards on the ground at 6.3 yards per clip. They also had three rushing touchdowns fueled by Dede Hunter's 213 yards, which included a back-breaking 80-yard touchdown run in the second half. Once again, BYU is abysmal on third downs, allowing Liberty to convert seven of 12 third downs, two for two on fourth downs. Kalani confirmed he was calling the plays for the defense on Saturday, so what happened? I thought simplifying the game plan would be a lot easier for us to, to execute. And um, the thing is, now the film doesn't lie. We're going to go back and check it out and see what the reason why that we didn't execute. Where, where, where is the fault? So where does BYU go from here? Well, they host East Carolina on Friday. The Pirates, they're pretty good. Five and three on the season. They lost by just one against North Carolina State in the season opener. They're coming off a 34-13 win over Big 12-bound Central Florida. It won't be easy to end the losing streak. After being in the top 10, 15 earlier in the season, it's strange to see the Cougars in this position weeks later, but they'll continue to fight. To not achieve uh, expectations, our own expectations, um, you know, that, that sucks. That sucks. It's a matter of staying together. You know, you can't, you can't fall apart now. It's the time when we need each other the most. Um, and Puka got up and shared a good message with everybody, um, you know, about having reality checks with ourselves and, you know, finding within ourselves to love the game a little bit more, to do a little more. Every game from here on out is, is a Super Bowl for us. And that's, uh, that, that is the mindset that I expect our players to go through and our staff to go through in every game. It doesn't matter who the opponent is. And, but now it's time for us to really show and then form our, our identity out of this adversity. All right, this is not fun, but in order to get better, you've got to study the film. That's why Stevenson Sylvester's here. He's going to help us out with this. Sly Kalani said in an earlier soundbite there that he took over the play calling and he simplified things. Mm -hmm. If they simplified things, why did everything look so difficult for this defense? Yeah, I mean, they still look confused out there. Yeah. They're still not doing the things that they preached. And here's the thing is, Kalani was my coach, so I know what he teaches. And the things that I'm seeing out there is not translating onto mm -hmm. the field. So, again, they have red zone woes in this football game. This was a, a basic power roll by the offense that was an easy walk-in touchdown there. But the pre-snap things that, that kind of surprise you here, all the D linemen are really pressed on this line of scrimmage, and I think it's because of the strength here. But because of the Y off tight end, you got two linebackers outside, but this is a D lineman here. This yeah. is Alden Tofa, D lineman playing the linebacker position. As playing the linebacker position, he doesn't know the linebacker techniques. He's slow on his reads to read the puller from the power row, from the Y off tight end and the guard, and so he gets caught up by the right tackle. Ben Bywater does a great job of cutting off the north and south penetration of the running back, making him bounce. But because Tofa is a D lineman playing the linebacker, he's supposed to be in, he's supposed to be in scrape technique, he's supposed to be outside. Essentially, him and Bywater are supposed to switch positions. And because he doesn't know that technique, he doesn't read it quickly enough. He gets caught up by the by the offensive tackle, and he's and he's uh, lost essentially on that play. So there's a lot of basic things that aren't going well for so BYU. That brings up a question in my mind that you don't have the answer, and, and maybe they need to. Has why is a defensive end playing linebacker, and why is the linebacker? I mean, that's obviously it would set up to have some issues right there, right? So. Is that, is that part of the problem? Yeah, I mean, well, honestly, in this defense, I know Tofa's a senior, but um, I think that they try to give the offense a different looks. If you say so basic, offenses yeah. are able to adjust and, and, and get you. But honestly, the basic is what this team needs. And they're trying to give different odd fronts, defensive fronts, give the offense a different looks, and it's catching them in bad positions. As we've seen last week, they were too close to the line of scrimmage to be able to establish the routes that are uh, that are um, uh, needed to define themselves. There's a lot of basic technique things yeah. that they're trying to overcompensate with bluffing, and they're, they're just getting caught. It's like Tyler Batty said, though, the players have got to make the plays. They're the right. ones out there doing it. So that's what the Cougars have got to do. These players have got to figure it out.